Yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers. Strobel boards. Why? What? Why? How? Why? What is it? Or sometimes, you know, maybe you guys are watching the videos and we say that word nonchalantly and some of you probably are like, what the hell is that? What did they just say? What is a Strobel board? So, um, a Strobel board is uh, a, the cloth thing that is needed to uh, attach the upper to the midsole. That's the exact definition if you look it up. Yeah, and um, that is, and it's mostly used in like athletic shoes. You know, like other like you know, I guess dress shoes and stuff. They they use like a cement type of cementing. I forgot what the exact term is, but it's like rubber cement. Yeah, or something like that to attach the uh, obviously the midsole to the outsole uh, or the midsole to the upper. Sorry. And uh, why do companies need it? So like in uh, old shoes. Like and old, do they need it? Do they? Need do they really need it? Do they need it? That is the question. Sometimes, in our opinion, it's been, uh, you know, a struggle board has been known to almost, you know, affect the shoe negatively. Yes. We feel like it could have been better without it. So, like, let's take this shoe for example. You know, Epic React. The React is so nice, so comfortable, super thick. You want to feel that right underneath your foot, right? Well, you can because look. You look at the shoe like it it has a strobe board you know and you can see from the stitching and all that and if you feel it it's actually pretty stiff as well right and um it's it's, it's it makes the cushion the react a lot harder to feel right underneath your foot even though you can feel it uh, i guess you can still feel it um, but it's mostly from the compression as well just from like you know the entire midsole compression you know not from the cushion like being soft and yeah. beautiful, you know? Like having a good cushion with a strobel board on top gives you more of an impact, a protection uh, type of feel than step in comfort. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. you know, when you remove the strobel board, you're able to get a little more, more step in comfort because like if you're just stepping around and you're not putting a ton of force, you can really feel your heel digging in, sometimes even your the balls of your feet. And it just feels kind of nice. Exactly. So, okay. Uh, one shoe that does not use a strobe or it does use a strobe but they you know they fix it and make it a lot better is the Ultra Boost, the original Ultra Boost, right? So you have like a netted strobe board and you can see the boost poking through and if you feel it with your finger you can really feel that boost, especially just like you know wearing it, you can feel the boost underneath your foot and it's really comfortable. And uh, you know, Adidas, why does Adidas just do this on all of their shoes? Why do they, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure they have some type of reason that they're going to say, like, support or, um, you know, response, something, something along those lines. But I'm not sure how valid that argument really is, you know, yeah, in, yeah. In, in a lot of shoes. Um, but, like, even still, like, in this type of construction, it's still like a strobe board. It's the same strobe yeah. board. You can see the stitching right there. So that's how you attach the uh, the upper to the boost. Um, but you just put a few holes in it. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, it's not as stiff, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the boost or the cushion pokes through so you can feel it underneath your foot. Yeah. You know, and same thing with the Harden 3, which which is why I love this shoe, dude. Like, if you look at it, it does, it, it uses like a strobe board construction. But if you look at it, and feel it it's like pretty soft comparing it to like just a really stiff strobe board construction you know so and the like, cushion is on that is is actually somewhat thin yeah for real boost, thin. you know exactly. and, but you're able to feel it right away because yeah. it's a soft strobe board yeah so why what is the point in having a really like you know spending all that money on r d just layering it this is the same bullshit strobe <laughs> exactly board you know what I'm saying? Over the, like oh we got this brand new cushion all right, now put the bullshit down on strobe board. So I can't feel it. Yeah. You know, we can't feel it. Or we can't feel it to the full potential of the cushion. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really like what Adidas is doing. You know, they, they really want to make really good cushions, but also, like, they want you to be able to feel it, which is super dope, you know? Yeah. I mean, um, there's other types of shoes, like, should we talk about Kobe's, yes. where they have the drop-in midsole. Which is genius. Yeah, which I don't think Adidas has ever done. Well, no. not in a basketball shoe. I think they did, like, cloud foam drop-in inserts, but... Yes. The, the drop in midsole is a great uh, innovation in shoes, in our opinion. Yes. Brings you really low to the ground. Another thing, there's no strobe board, so you're sitting right on top of the actual cushion. Yeah, and if you look at the shoe, like, look, it's, it's still stitched in. So uh, that's just, that, that's all of, yeah, that, the strobe board's right there. Mm -hmm. That's the strobe board. 
but they uh, they let you uh, they allow you to feel the Lunalon or whatever cushion because it's it's a drop and this is straight Lunalon, you know. So uh, that's super dope. Also, another thing that that's a plus about this is that you see that it it cages you in, so it, all the force isn't you know on here. Uh, it helps cage you in, and uh, lateral containment is greatly improved. And you can really see that in the Kobe 360. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I mean, it must have something to do with attaching the upper to the outsole. Yeah. I mean, we don't know the full or the process or whatever, so I, we're not, we really can't wrap our heads around why they need to do a stroke really. Yeah. You know, or why why do they need to just make it really stiff? You know, why why does it have to be so stiff? Yeah. You know, I want a soft cushion, why can't they do that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, they could just make Phylon, if they make the Phylon a little bit softer, you know, and then, you know, make the stroke board a little bit softer, like every single shoe, it, the, the stepping cover, the impact protection, and all that is going to greatly improve. Mm -hmm. So why do they need to do this? You know what I'm saying? Like even in the Curry Twos, you know, remember with the speed form material? Um, uh, I, I don't know if it this is, if this is a strobe board or anything, but like it allows you to feel the the charged cushion a lot easier because uh, you they don't use an insole for because the speed form material, like how they make it, they, it didn't allow them to use a strobe board or something or insole or something. Um, so, you know, that's another great example, you know what I'm saying? So, companies, stop using strobo boards, you know, like, like you know, KD12, which is super dope, you know, shout out to Leo Chang, he's using the entire zoom unit as a strobo board, you know, and if you look at the zoom unit, it always has like a, like a outline, outline around the zoom unit where it's Stitch? just plastic, you know, with, with oh, yeah, yeah, plastic, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they're using that and then stitching it. There's a so that's, border, that's, yeah. That, yeah, using it as a border, so that's genius. And then you can feel the zoom right underneath it, that's super smart. But I wonder if they can do that with just foams. But I mean, they can, like look, yeah, look at what, what the Ultra Boost is doing. You they know do what it saying? sometimes and you know? it's a great setup. Exactly, so. so even, like the Ultra Boost is like, I think like an extreme, like the Harden Volume 3, they still use a strobe, but it's like a softer strobe board. Yeah. So it's really interesting. Uh, if you know the the entire process of making a shoe and why they need strobe boards, then tell us down in the comment section below. But like we just said, you know Nike, I think Nike and Under Armour mainly, but also Adidas in some of their shoes um, should not even just remove the strobe board, but make it softer. Yeah. You know. So do you guys agree with us? If you do, tell us down in the comment section below. And if you're a designer and you're making a shoe, please do what Leo Chang is doing and remove that strobe board or make it softer. Um, but anyways, that's just a quick little video for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later, peace.